welcome back to my channel and today's video as you read by the title i will be revamping and reinstalling this wig and i also want to do a review for this wig because i've installed it already and i told y'all that i was going to do a review but i forgot if you really want to see how i feel about this hair comment below like this video make sure you subscribe so here in the video all i'm doing is installing my ball cap y'all seen this method a million times so i'm pretty sure like you get the gist of you know what i'm doing here so i don't really need to explain in depth but yeah here i'm just using some alcohol to wipe around my edges so that the glue can have a clean slate so that it sticks and holds to its potential so after that i'm just taking a tenel beauty break if you want i'm gonna give y'all a special code for the beauties and bows get 10 percent off your first order using the code tenel yt i'm gonna put it on the screen but here i'm putting this raggedy looking wig on this hair is nice i'm like i said i'm gonna give y'all a review on the hair i'm not gonna have the hair in because i forget every time i install a wig and i just don't want a wig on right now so yeah i'm just taking my ghost bond and i'm just going to start applying thin layers of the product on my hairline but like trying not to get it on any of my hair because I don't want to be bald around my edges. One thing that I know for a fact that makes your um, lace lay better, trying to make sure you get thin layers of glue because it'll take longer to dry and then some parts will seem like they dry and then they not. So it causes like clumps or whatever and then they're like ruin how your lace lays and that'll attract like dirt and it's still looking crazy so like just make sure you apply your glue in very thin like amounts so that it won't you won't have that problem leave a comment down below telling me what's your favorite part of this video so far and what more videos y'all would like to see if you're a part of the beauties and bows already thank you so much if you're not you're missing out like just join the fam we're fun we're exciting so now i'm just blow drying my hair i was fanning it the whole time like why wasn't i using a blow dryer i don't know sometimes my brain really just don't work <laughs> also to get your glue thin as possible i recommend you using something with a flat base to like smooth it out like how people use those popsicle sticks or like the back of your tweezers or something like that i was using my scissors but like use something that's flat so you can like smooth it out in a like even amount using the bottle applicator cause unevenness with the glue so that can also cause the problems so now I'm just laying the wig down as best as I can and I'm gonna have to cut some lace I kind of feel like I didn't have to I just really need to pull the wig back but I ended up cutting the lace anyway because it was just like too far on my forehead I do like that because I do have a five head but it was too far down and I don't remember having it that far <laughs> Also, disregard the little bit of balding on the side because when I be um, <laughs> taking my wigs off, I will comb the edges and they will have gunk of hair products all in it and you know, that will cause it to break off and rip off. So don't be like me. Make sure you're washing your wigs properly and detangling them properly so they won't stop balding or the lace won't stop ripping because... It's very sensitive and especially with all the wear and tear from, you know, just normal everyday stuff.
So I'm using this like elastic band to tie. It's really not an elastic band. It's a pantyhose, but like the dance kind. So it's kind of thick and I was, I just cut the, the ends off so that I could use it as an elastic band. And yeah, that also helps with laying the lace and melt, the melting process. So now that I've laid the lace or whatever, you want to make sure that your hair is mostly dry, if not 100% dry, before you start detangling or combing it or yanking it or anything. It seemed like in this video that I didn't wait, but my hair was definitely like 95%. The lace was dry. So that's why I started detangling it. I like to detangle my wigs on my head. I don't know. I can detangle them off my head, but like... It just be a lot so i just rather do it on my head so that's what i'm doing here i'm not going to show y'all me styling my hair but if y'all want to see how i style my hair for my photo shoot definitely comment below and i will record that video but yeah i'm basically just detangling it that's all and then yeah So now that I got it detangled, I'm just trying to make sure my part is clean and how I want it so that I can go in with my hot comb and like straighten the top. This hot comb that I'm using is not an electric hot comb as some of y'all can tell, but I'm not, I didn't know if everybody knew, but it's one of those like old school um, hot combs. But before I hot combed, I just basically went in with some got to be and like a regular comb to like smooth it out first. And then I'm going to go in with the hot comb because the two, the teeth on the hot comb are very small. And like if there's any kinks or tangles, it'll like catch. So, but I'm basically just using it to like flat out, flatten out the top, not really to like straighten it. And this is the final look. If you want to see my photo shoot pictures, definitely go follow me on Instagram at Tanel Sinaj. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you're doing that. Also, don't forget to leave a comment telling me what next video you want to see. Thank you guys for watching.